The Random Jottings of Donald J. from Nelson in Pendle. In the small village of Catlow Bottoms in Nelson, Lancashire, stories of the Hobgoblin and Bots were still very much alive. The villagers would often huddle around the fire at night and tell tales of the mischievous creatures that roamed the countryside. But the tale of the Oud Hop, the leader of the Bots, was one that sent shivers down their spines. The legend said that the Oud Hob lived deep in the forests surrounding Catlow Bottoms. He was said to be a creature with the head of a goat, the hooves of a horse, and the horns of a devil. His eyes were said to glow red in the darkness, and his breath was said to be foul and putrid. Despite the warnings, some villagers were not afraid to venture into the forest in search of the Oud Hop. They believed that if they could capture him, they would be able to ask for his help in punishing those who had wronged them. But no one had ever returned from the forest, and many believed that they had fallen victim to the Oud Hob's wrath. One day, a young boy named Thomas decided that he would be the one to capture the Oud Hop. He believed that if he could capture the creature, he would become a hero in the eyes of the villagers. He gathered his courage and set out into the forest armed only with a wooden stake and a lantern. As he made his way deeper into the forest, Thomas began to hear strange noises. The branches of the trees rustled, and the ground seemed to shake beneath his feet. But he pressed on, determined to capture the Oud Hop. Suddenly, he saw a pair of glowing red eyes in the darkness. The Oud Hop had appeared before him, and Thomas froze in fear. The creature let out a deafening roar and charged towards Thomas, but the boy managed to dodge out of the way just in time. Thomas knew that he had to act fast. He raised his wooden stake and plunged it into the Oud Hob's heart. The creature let out a blood-curdling scream before falling to the ground, lifeless. As Thomas emerged from the forest, he was greeted by a cheering crowd of villagers. They had all heard the commotion and had come to see if Thomas had succeeded. They lifted him up on their shoulders and carried him back to the village, hailing him as a hero. But as the years passed, the villagers began to realize the consequences of their actions. The bots, no longer afraid of their leader, began to run rampant throughout the village. Things went missing, dogs went lame, and milk soured. The villagers realized that they had made a terrible mistake in killing the Oud Hop, and they could do nothing to stop the bot's mischief. From that day forward, the villagers learned to live with the bots. They made offerings of food and milk to appease them and hoped that they would not become the next victims of their pranks. And the legend of the Oud Hop and the bots lived on, a cautionary tale of the dangers of meddling with the supernatural. By Donald J.